So you think I can pull this off? Oh my goodness! Juan, are you ready for some more trekking? <laughs> ready! Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. This year we left our jobs and rented out our flat to start a new long-term trip beginning in Asia, where we'll be diving deep into the multitude of cultures and cuisines. We spent the past few days here in Chiang Mai, mostly eating, but also exploring the city and temples. Chiang Mai is also surrounded by some really beautiful nature, and so we wanted to explore that a little bit more. Right now we are in a car and about to start a two-day trek. We're the only two people. This is actually supposed to be a group tour, but nobody else showed up. And so now this is a private tour, which is also quite nice for us. And the first stop we're doing is at a local market to get some provisions and maybe something nice to eat for breakfast. I have this scarf here, but it can also be used as a hat. Yeah, we should probably only resort to this in emergencies. <laughs> you wouldn't think it's that cold in North Thailand in the morning, but it is. And my hair's wet, so... Got some waffles for breakfast. We were strolling around this market and I thought, what smells so good here? And turns out it's these waffles. It's always waffles. Turns out it's not the fresh fish nor the frogs. <laughs> So on this trek there are a few stops, first there's this waterfall and then after that we have lunch. Then we continue on to the trekking part where we trek a few hours to a local village in the mountains. That's also where we're going to stay for the night and then we'll continue trekking and then I think we're going to come to a river where we're going to take a bamboo raft back to our hostel and that's the two-day trek done. Oops. Don't fall, too well slippery. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really nice waterfall. It's a big one. <laughs> so this is Juan, our tour guide. <laughs> and <laughs> One is wearing flip-flops. Yeah. <laughs> so the shoe can't be too hard. Yeah. So the only time us two are wearing appropriate shoe wear. <laughs> no one else is. <laughs> no one else is. It's very refreshing. The floor is very muddy, so you feel like sinking in a little bit, and that's weird. And then also, I didn't want to like get a cold shower. It was a really nice, refreshing experience. And it's very windy when you come to the actual waterfall, it's like... So after this first stop, we're now going to have some lunch. And a snack first. So we just got a snack? Yeah. It's sticky rice and coconut and I think banana wrapped into a banana leaf. And I'm going to try it. Mm. I think the sticky rice is like the sticky rice you get with mango sticky rice, which is cooked in coconut milk. And then you have it with banana instead of with mango, and that's a nice snack. It's like we knew that the road from Chiang Mai to Pai is very curvy and you get sick quite easily because we've done it in 2016. And this time we thought, no, we're not going to Pai again because we already did it, and also the road is not nice. But what are we doing instead? We are hiking between Chiang Mai and Pai, and they told us that, and uh, we didn't think about the fact that we will have to take the same road so now we're just a little bit sick and we also just got another sticky rice snack from one um, he just bought it at a little stall like down the road and yeah it's cooked in bamboo and it's sticky rice with coconut again but this time there's some dragon fruit in it and Simon got one with red beans <laughs> they look quite funny I think we're driving Last 15 to 20 minutes 
we actually felt really sick in the car. And now we've like sat down for maybe five minutes and we're slowly getting better. And now they just gave us a lot of food and I will try to eat some rice with maybe some chicken. I don't know if I can eat the egg, but it all looks really nice. After this, we're going back in the car and for 30 minutes. So I hope we're just gonna survive that and then we're good because then we're starting our track. And off we go. Some more driving and then some trekking. We actually managed to eat quite a lot, but I don't know if this was a good or a bad idea. We will soon find out. Yep. We are now leaving the car behind and starting the trek. We uh, got our provisions. We got some water bottles that we can't really squeeze into our bags because they're full <laughs> with stuff. You know, pack light, they said. And uh, we didn't. Juan, are you ready for the trek? Ready! <laughs> I'm ready! And Zoe? Ready! Zoe. Juan ready! <laughs> Yup. Yellow tea? Yeah, yellow tea. Put with uh, some uh, flour. Just me flour or okay flour to make a tea. Mm. Make a smell. Hmm. Now no smell, yeah. Try it. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm. Tastes like tea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Iced tea? It's quite bitter. Okay, bitter tea. <laughs> <laughs> Juan is still rocking them flip flops. For me, a curry paste. Oh, galangal. Ah. It's smell, yeah. Ah. Thank you. Can smell. Yeah. For oh, me, yeah. a soup. For me, a curry paste. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. a paste. Yeah. But you can also just slice it and then put yeah. it in like tom yum or something. Yeah, 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 tom yum. Oh, yeah, yeah, tom yum. Smells super good. Yeah. You can keep that and use it for cooking later. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> One just cut us some firewood <laughs> and it's pine. It smells really, really good. Yeah. So it's really warm right now and because it's dry season, everything is really dry. <laughs> and <laughs> during the wet season, Everything is much more green because there's more water, but uh, there are also going to be more insects then. We're now on the other side of the mountain and it's much cooler here, which is nice for a change. It also feels a little bit more quiet as well. Honestly, no idea how Juan is doing this in flip-flops because we are struggling a bit in our appropriate footwear. So we now have to climb over. It's alright. Okay. It's a lychee tree. Ah. So it doesn't have flowers right now. Ah. This lychee garden is very idyllic. It's also strange to find it in, you know, the middle of no the mountain. <laughs> Super nice. I wouldn't mind sitting on a bench here, contemplating life. <laughs> That's cool. So this is lemongrass. So now we found coriander, lemongrass, galangal, so we have everything. <laughs> We need to make a soup. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yes, yeah, it's very nice. I can wear it as a perfume, like warrior perfume. <laughs> <laughs> so here we've got some avocados, and here papayas. So honestly, this is a chef's dream. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see the papayas. Nice work, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So this is a grapefruit tree. Okay. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, run. It's rolling down. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> okay, it's gone. I think I need more mosquito spray. Mm. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> oh, I got a new hat. <laughs> Thank you. Helmet. Yeah, very stylish. Protects you against, you know, other falling grapefruits. <laughs> I'm like the queen of, I think it's a crown and I'm not the queen of the jungle. Mm. <laughs> yep. It's sour. <laughs> but nice. So you think I can pull this off? Uh, sure. You are pulling it off. <laughs> I mean, as long as we are only in the forest. <laughs> okay, so I guess the grapefruit hat is saying. We ran into some friendly buffaloes, or at least we hope they're friendly. <laughs> but they're blocking the way just slightly. Oh, thank you for letting us pass. <laughs> okay. Small stampede. There's just a tiny one left. <laughs> Did you find some new friends? Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've been trekking for a few hours now and we just reached a really nice view. I don't think we've got long to go though. You hungry? A little bit. I was still quite full from lunch. It yeah. was good. It was nice and filling. I think nice. we've tasty. We've earned a nice dinner. Yeah, we definitely have. <laughs> I've burned four hundred and two calories by now. Good. In the last two hours. <laughs> Chopstick, chopstick, uh, make it later. Nice. For eating? Yeah. <laughs> chopstick. Okay, looking forward to custom made chopsticks made by Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Juan is too quick for us. <laughs> Only going downhill right now. And our knees are struggling. Okay, so now we just have to do one river crossing <laughs> and then we should be there. Now I think flip-flops would have been slightly better. The water is cool, but it's very nice for these swollen feet. We made it. We've got these really cool huts and a super nice view. Here it is, home sweet home for the next night. Looks very cozy. We've got a nice mosquito net to keep us safe. It already smells so good. I'm looking forward to it. We've just changed in our pajamas and now it's time to chill, relax and eat until we can't see anything anymore because there's no light. <laughs> that should be in about half an hour. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also looking forward to just asking some questions about the Karen people because we're in a Karen village now and like we know, don't know that much yet but I hope we're gonna find out a yep. lot of stuff. Me too. So that was a very successful first day of trekking. It is super cozy right now uh, here in our hut 
had <laughs> under the mosquito net. Yeah, it's like a cabin, but it has windows without any glass, so you could basically also sleep outside. But we have this nice mosquito net here, we have blankets, and yeah, it's quite cozy. We had some really good food that they cooked here, and we sat by the fire and looked at the stars because uh, the night sky here is spectacular. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. We also talked to our tour guide a lot um, because he's from a village close by and that was super interesting. And yeah, it was just a very nice evening. Yes, it feels like very late. It's actually half past nine. Yeah, it feels like in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this should be a good night's sleep. All right. Good night. Good night. It's cold today, maybe like 12, 13 degrees here in the morning. It's uh, hard to think that it's going to be really warm today. You can see your own breath and everything, but we've got this nice fire running and it's very comfortable. Got some coffee and also some pancakes cooking in bamboo sticks. Looks really cool. Ready for some more trekking? Maybe in 30 minutes. Okay. Juan, are you ready for some more trekking? Ready! <laughs> Always ready. <laughs> Look what Juan made us. So cool. That's a pretty nice looking breakfast. Day two has begun. Our legs are quite tired. Just a few more steps downhill, which are kind of the most challenging. I think our legs aren't really made to walk downhill that much. I think we're the slowest tour group one ever had. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're afraid to ask him. We'll soon reach the river where we'll do the rafting. Yay! Yay! Juan is always one step ahead. Careful! So in the middle of the raft we have a little bamboo wardrobe for all our valuables and I hope they are safe there. I think it depends on Simon's skills and until now everything's safe and sound. Yep, good. <laughs> we don't have to do anything, right? <laughs> wait. And that's how it's done. <laughs> it's quite the easy job for me yeah. actually. <laughs> I'm sitting here. How's it going? Pretty good. We haven't lost anyone on board. And uh, nobody has gotten seasick. Also um, good. We still have all our uh, all of our provisions. Water is there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, I'm still standing, you know, so can't complain. This is getting interesting. We're on real adventure. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Success. Okay. I wasn't worried at all. Yeah. 
Always had it under control. Bumpy. Simon is doing his best job to keep us safe. Hey, okay, I, I have to report a small <laughs> incident. So my <laughs> stick got stuck <laughs> like this, and so it was like, and but I mean the the raft was still going, so it was dragging me. We all saw back. it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should better concentrate on your work. Sorry, I was concentrating on posing. <laughs> um, anyway, nothing happened. All good. Um, everything under control. Good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the camera was a bit shaky. That's just because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> That was fun. Yeah, all good. Was lowering. <laughs> Situation master. <laughs> you know, just don't poke your stick in too deep. <laughs> don't poke, poke your stick into unknown holes. <laughs> That's a valuable life lesson there. <laughs> that was an exciting rafting trip. <laughs> I don't think we expected it to have you know, so many action elements. <laughs> we actually wondered if it would be like an old people thing, like, okay, yeah. now you sit on a bamboo raft and we are slowly floating through the water, but it wasn't. <laughs> but I mean, that was a really cool experience. Yeah, no good. other rafts on the water, just us. And yeah, now it's time to have lunch, the final lunch, before we drive home for two hours. I hope the road is not going to be as curvy as the last one. I think it's a today. different road than the one that leads to Pi. So let's hope for that. So for lunch we're having something wrapped in uh, banana leaves, <laughs> not bamboo leaves. <laughs> Homemade bamboo sticks. Really nice. <laughs> one made them for us. So cool. Thanks Juan. <laughs> 